Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode! We rescued Professor Crane from the Clutches of Naps. Sounds like a really bad B-movie title, The Clutches of Naps. In this episode, we're going to be making our daring escape from this lab to the other lab, the HQ lab, of course. Before we get going, I just want to let you know that I have healed off screen. Gene also seemed to pick up an item somewhere along the line. Antidote. Okay, not complaining. Baltoy is unfortunately still in reverse mode. I really, really wish it wasn't. Anyway, let's make our daring escape. Professor Crane needs the protection of a 10-year-old to be able to have any hope of making it out, and we will give him that 10-year-old protection he needs. And look who it is. Oh, hey, you! You sneak Crane out. Lavrina, this child here, he's the intruder. Hey, I heard all about you. All your henchmen said that you were a bitch pretty much. Punish them, not me. Don't pay me any mind. Oh, wait, wait. I so have not heard about anyone leaving anywhere. Professor Crane is so going to be very busy. Oh, so very busy. So please, be a nice boy and don't disturb us. We're going back to the HQ lab. Stand aside, please. Going back? Seriously, you are so joking. This so happens to be where you work from now on. After all, we so need you to keep working on your studies. You are so the key to our plan. XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that can never be purified. Stop that nonsense. Do you really think I would help you to do something that horrible? Oh, she stomped her foot. Things are serious now. Oh, that naps. He so must have made a boo-boo again. I so have to punish him lots. Little boy, maybe you can convince Professor Crane. You should so tell him to study our XD001. You see, our plan is to make shadow Pokemon that can never, ever be purified. XD001 is our first prototype. So, when we work out the problems, we can make combat units with XD series Pokemon. Wouldn't that just be peachy? But we so need the Professor cooperation for our plan. So please, sweetie, can you please ask him nicely to help? Well, I can't promise that he'll listen to me, but if you stop saying so every other word, I'll at least consider it. Whoa, Michael, don't joke around now. Yeah, you aren't able to do that. So will you hand over the Professor to us nicely? Uh, no, I think I can only take a couple more of your so's, unfortunately. Oh, how nasty, you silly boy, you so won't help me with XD001 either. Oh, you'll be sorry now, but you will so understand. A little hurt is so persuasive. Okay, that does it. That is the third so, and I said I can only handle a couple more. That is beyond my limit. Loverina. Looks very non-threatening, but then, ugh, that grin. She is pure evil. She is starting out with Love Disc. <laughs> Seriously, your first line of defense is Love Disc, one of the worst Pokemon ever. Level 20, Water Type, Swift Swim for its ability, which it will not activate. That would raise its speed and rain, but there is no rain present here. Water Gun, Tackle, Attract, and Charm. This thing can lower your attack stat quite a bit with a, tra or with a charm. And I guess the Attract is kind of annoying, because a lot of the Pokemon you've obtained up to this point are probably going to be male, especially your starter, but I can't really say that it's threatening at all. Uh, more threatening of the two is uh, Beautifly. Level 19, Bug Flying Type, with the moves Gust, Thief, Absorb, and Attract. Also, it has Swarm for its ability, but it is irrelevant because it will not be able to get it off. Or, not that it can't get it off, it's just that it has no Bug Type attacks, though, so it's completely irrelevant. Just like Love Disc, Swift Swim. Then again, Love Disc itself might as well just be irrelevant in the first place. If I had Baltoy out, though, it might have actually been a little bit threatening, though, because that Water Gun would have really hurt, but we don't. Let's use the awesome combination of Voltaire and Mabal and get this done and oh, absorb! Uh, they did a Actually, no, they didn't do that much. I am perfectly okay with that, but at the same time, attack bonus, that didn't hurt. Go on, finish it off. Love Disc is down, no surprise there. Level 22 on Voltaire already? Damn, I'm, I'm curious to see how many levels Baltoy gets upon uh, purification. Let's see. Roselia! Okay! Level 19, Grass Poison Type, Natural Cure for its ability, Leech Seed, Mega Drain, Pin Missile, Poison Sting. This thing is a beast. This is going to be her, the toughest of her Pokemon this early on. Uh, just because even though Roselia is not that great of a Pokemon, Mega Drain kind of hurts, especially for Sveal, and Baltoy also has a weakness to it, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to go for the Bite right here, as well as Aurora Beam, and hopefully finish it off. I hope it's not able to attack... Uh, my uh, spiel there. It has natural cure for its ability, which she would need a switch to activate that. That makes so that if you poison or paralyze or any of those things, then it will get it cured by switching out. But as far as I've seen, she's pretty unlikely to switch like most early game trainers. That's really all I can say about that. Thief. I'm kind of surprised I didn't go for a grass type move on Sveal. That worries me. Yep. Yep. Knew it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Tank it. Oh, ow. It's probably going to heal it back up to full health. Oh, almost. Okay. I've learned my lesson. I will Thundershock uh, Beautifly next turn. Let's do it. Come on. Ah, it tanked it. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Okay. Uh, new idea. 
I will see if I can use the bite to take out Roselia. I don't know if Thundershock would do more. I'll be resisted at the very least, though, but I do have the same type attack bonus. Not sure what it comes out to. Let's hope! Yes! Ah, oh, that is awesome! Okay. Saved it! My ball is mightier than your rose. Delcaddy, her last Pokemon. And wouldn't you know it, it is her shadow Pokemon. Delcaddy is not a very good Pokemon. Normal type with no stats over 70 at all. Uh, it's just that, it's not that it doesn't learn good moves. Like most normal types, it has a lot of diversity in the types of things that it can learn. It's just that it never gets to take advantage of anything. It's really a shame because like its stats are just so low. I wish Delcaddy would get an evolution, but as it evolves from Skitty with a Moonstone, I don't think it'll ever happen. Now, even though Delcaddy is not good, this is probably going to be the most challenging catch we have had yet. Reason for that being is that Delcaddy has an insanely low catch rate to everything else that we have fought. And it kind of sucks, to be honest. I'm really, really not a fan of this Delcaddy because it really, really hurts to fight this thing. Anyway, I'm going to go and have Voltaire finish off Beautifly as it would outspeed my Sphiel. And I hope that Sphiel's going to be able to get off an Aurora Beam on that Delcaddy so we can hopefully catch it. She's down to her last Pokemon. And hey, Shadow Rush! We haven't seen this yet. It has been changed up from Colosseum. It is less powerful, but in return, it doesn't do recoil damage. So if you're at all curious about why that was acting like that, that's why. Come on, lower stat. I think it's attack that gets lowered. I like how Caddy's like brushing off getting hit animation. It's like, huh, well, I'm not hurt, so there. Because like, it's totally what Caddy sounds like. All right, we will go for Thunder Wave. And there we go. Down goes that. Should not speed my spiel anymore. Awesome. Of course, because it was not at the start of the turn, it will still outspeed it done this turn. And it doesn't even matter, because Spiel went down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is the first time that a Pokemon I have seriously been raising has actually gone down in battle. I don't want to jinx that. I really, really don't. Like, well, actually, no, I wouldn't jinx it, though, because I, it already went down. But I think that that is the first time that a Pokemon that I am seriously raising has actually fainted in battle, because so far, it's, things have been pretty easy. Let's see. Uh, shoot, what do I want to go for here? Um... I'll risk it. It's level 18. I hope I don't have a repeat of Carvana. Let's see. Can I harm you without defeating you? Come on. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. Huh. Well, I'm not hurt, so there. And it's par it's fully paralyzed. Okay. We're good. I'll do Mud Slap to lower its accuracy. I'll shut up speed it because of paralysis. And we'll go for the regular Pokeball. I don't feel it necessary to use a Great Ball on this thing just because it has not been having the best time in the world. Let's see. Do I get lucky? Can I snag this really hard to catch Delcaddy? Can I do it? Come on! I shall find out. One, two, three, got it. No trouble at all. I've been pretty lucky with the catches this time around. Awesome. Down goes Lavrina. What on earth? How could you be so strong? What is it with that pose? Like, her hair is dripping on the floor. Like, isn't that kind of unhealthy for your hair to have it, like, dragging on the floor like that? Just saying. You know, I'm no expert on hair care products, but, you know, I'm assuming that you would know a lot because of how much you have. Oh, I hate to say this, little boy. I, I can't beat you right now. Master Grieve will be so cross with me, but... But that's okay. I will let you owe me one this time. But you have to promise you will think about my plan next time. If you see XD001, I'm sure you will so want to help me. I'll so be waiting for you. And she runs off. L Lavrina! The way she's standing bow-legged in the uh, elevator looks like she's going to fall over when it starts moving. I don't know, it just looks like that to me. Michael, you have grown tough, haven't you? In fact, I'm amazed at how much stronger you've grown in such a short time. I guess we'll be relying on you even more from now on, Michael. Now that we know Cypher is back, we need to move quickly. We have to come up with, a way with ways of stopping them. This time, let's really head back to the HQ lab. Okay, find a data ROM! Here, may I see that? Hmm, this may be something important. We'll take it back and analyze it. Okay, so we head up this elevator. They walk in slowly. Turn around, and... Plot twist, that elevator led to the HQ lab. Okay, no, not really. It's just them cutting ahead and saving us a lot of time, which I'm thankful for. Thanks to you, Michael, I was able to return safe and sound. Sincerely, thank you. Though it was a horrible ordeal, I learned a few things while I was in that desert lab. First and foremost, Cypher hasn't disappeared. The fact that they are still around is alarming. Worse, they are making more Shadow Pokemon again. And worst of all, they are trying to create the ultimate Shadow Pokemon, one that is impossible to purify. Cypher must be plotting world domination using Shadow Pokemon as their weapons again to counter Cypher's new Shadow Pokemon conspiracy. Director! Lily! We did it! The Purify Chamber is finally completed! That was abrupt. Oh my! Oh, what fantastic timing. It's finally finished. 
Lily, thank you. Thank you for pulling everyone together so capably in my absence. Yeah, our mom is awesome. I am so proud to have her as my mom. She does so much cool stuff. She pulls everyone together. She gets stuff done. Like the Purify Chamber, which we're going to go over to go see now. What do we got? Take a good look, Michael. This is the Purify Chamber. Michael, your father and I designed it five years ago when we were motivated by the Shadow Incident. If evildoers were to create Shadow Pokemon again, we wanted to be able to save them ourselves. Michael, your father believed that passionately. To honor your father's wish, I put together our Pokemon at HQ Lab. Michael, if your father were here, I'm sure he would be delighted. While I was gone, everyone seems to have rallied around Lily and made things happen. Okay, Michael. We'll have you lead the way. The glorious history of the Purify Chamber will begin with you. But first, would you be so kind to briefly understand how the Purify Chamber works? Certainly. Okay, Michael, listen closely. The Purify Chamber is a facility in which Shadow Pokemon undergo purification through contact with regular Pokemon. Purification is conducted on what we call a set. This is where a Shadow Pokemon comes into contact with regular Pokemon. In the center of a set, one Shadow Pokemon is placed. Up to four regular Pokemon can be placed around the Shadow Pokemon. We have nine of these sets here. That means that we can efficiently purify up to nine Shadow Pokemon at the same time. There is one thing you need to be careful about. Purification won't proceed if you place only a single Pokemon on a set. Purification can only happen if there is at least one regular Pokemon on a set with a Shadow Pokemon. The number of regular Pokemon placed are with a Shadow Pokemon and their compatibility are key points. First, the number of regular Pokemon, the more of the Shadow Pokemon Pokemon you place around a Shadow Pokemon, the quicker the purification is. Next, compatibility of Pokemon. Compatibility depends on the types of the Pokemon involved in the directions they face. By adjusting these factors, you'll likely see a difference in purification speeds. If you need details, I'll be happy to explain later, but for right now, I'd like you to check the sets out. The Purify Chamber status is on standby. System status is good to go. Step onto that circular plate, a holographic image of the Pokemon involved in the purification will appear. Well, it would if there were any actually Pokemon on the sets. While you're checking the hologram, you can zoom into individual sets. You can zoom to individual sets and select any set to purify things that you see fit. Bleah! This is getting really, really long winded, just saying. They just keep retelling us the same things over and over again. Sorry, it just seems to be the law that Japanese games have to have really long tutorials, and I don't want to get too hung up on that. I want to follow up on what Crane was saying. He implied that Michael's father is no longer with us, and if you go to the status screen of your starter Pokemon, you will see that your Eevee was obtained from Michael's dad, implying that Eevee was just the only thing that he had left to leave Michael. This isn't really touched upon much, but I just kind of find it to be a really cool detail about how you're kind of finishing your dad's legacy by being the first to use the Purify Chamber, and you got to do this with the Eevee that he left you. It's kind of sweet, actually. But it's best that we don't dwell on this too long. We need to make sure that these Pokemon stop suffering. So, I only have two Pokemon that I don't want traveling with me that have been purified already. We have Lediba and Poochyena. So I'm going to put these onto the set immediately. Now, you're going to notice that there is a flow that is going clockwise on this. If their types are effective against one another, it would increase the flow and the tempo of this set, which would make the Pokemon purify quicker. So, for example, if I were to use my Jolteon and my Sfeel, I would want to place Jolteon first and then Sfeel second, and then maybe... Uh, I could post uh, Hound Hour third, so that way it's going in a clockwise flow so that they're effective against one another. You can just up to four Pokemon, and as you can see there, the flow is not very strong as I only have two Pokemon, but it's definitely better than if I just had Lediba there. Now, Mareep is not ready to be purified. However, we do have one Pokemon that is ready to be purified, and I want to test out the Purify Chamber on our honorary team member of... Baltoy. Let's do it! That does it! Baltoy has already opened the door to its heart! Let's see what it regains. It gets Rock Tomb! Awesome! It's good for lowering speed, not as good as Thunder Wave, obviously. Refresh, okay, that's his exclusive move. And, wow, that is a lot of experience. Alright, level 19 easily. Or, level 18, excuse me. Level 19 as well, it seems. Okay. Uh, Self-Destruct! Oh, man! Okay, I was not expecting to see that so soon. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Uh, I'll keep refresh just because of the exclusive move. I'll get rid of Mud Slap, even though I do like the accuracy lowering. It's just kind of not the best move after the beginning of the game. Or, after the be It's just kind of not the best move later on, so I'll do that. Self-Destruct. Anything else? Level 20! Damn, we are rocketing through these levels, man! Got a ribbon? And, uh, I don't have a nickname for Baltoy. I was kind of wondering if you guys could help me out with that. So, 
What I would like you to do is, through hashtag ChuggaXD, I want you to suggest to me nicknames that I can give my Baltoy. Uh, one day after this video, I will, well, I, uh, one day after this video is the deadline, I should reveal it a few videos from now. That's pretty much it. That's it. We have gone ahead and done that. How did you find the Purify Chamber? How did I find the Purify Chamber? You led me right to it. Okay, no, in all seriousness, it worked well. Using the system, it's possible to purify many Shadow Pokemon at the same time. Oh, also, you can access the Purify Chamber from any PC, so be sure to try that feature. Now, the issue is how Shadow Pokemon should be recovered from Cypher. It looks like you have to get busy some more with the Snag Machine, Michael. Uh, that sounds kind of bad, because that's on my hand. But, in all seriousness, I want to put more Pokemon here onto this particular set. I'm going to want to have uh, Teddy Ears travel with me. I want Baltoy traveling with me. So I am going to... I'll withdraw another Shadow Pokemon so that we just have one traveling with us. And we'll put C Dot in the center stage. There we go, our center set. There we go. We'll go ahead and leave that. And that is why purifying is so much easier here. You can have so many purifications just going in the background for so long. It's awesome. Oh, speaking of Cypher Lily, have you made any progress with that data ROM we brought back from Cypher's lab? Oh yes, I've asked Datan to analyze the contents of the data ROM. It should be ready soon. Okay. Michael, could you go upstairs and ask Datan how he's doing? Datan is the man in the room next to the director's office. Remember, he was compiling the basic data. Big brother's tired, so Jovi will go. Oh, Jovi, it's okay. This is for work. And she is off like a rocket. Ah ha ha, seeing Jovi and her boundless energy makes me realize I'm back home. Uh, you know it's bad when Jovi is a comfort of home for you? I feel so bad for you, Professor Crane. I really, really do. But, yeah, I, I do like that about the Purification Chamber. I think that was really, really sweet, just how Evie is a gift for Michael's dad and how the Purify Chamber was his legacy. Who knows? We might have even met his dad at some point during Coliseum. They, I really am not sure. Oh, isn't it time the man is always fooling around with his computer here? It's strange. Jovi wonders where he went. Well, that makes things awkward. Where could he be? Do you have any idea? What's that, Daton? Let me think. He went downstairs earlier. He had a look of concentra- of concerta- consternation on his face. What? I don't think I have ever heard that word before in my life. Then again, he's kind of old, so I guess I can kind of understand that. Okay. I swear, nothing can ever be straightforward to this life. Everyone's always off in some other room or outdoors or something compared to where they said they'd be. Wow, I'm sorry, Professor. I couldn't decipher it. Huh? Oh, it's you, Michael. You scared me half to death. Everyone's jumpy here as well. What's up with that? Like, everyone is. That data ROM is heavily protected like a bank vault. It would take a seriously talented guy to break through and get at the contents. A seriously talented guy, you say. Oh, the professor is here to put him in his place. Why couldn't he have just come? He was, like, right outside. Oh, uh, Professor, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> it can't be helped. And if it's seriously, if it's a serious talented guy we need, well, I think I have a solution. Who would that person be? Michael, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but can you deliver that data ROM to ONBS in Pyrite Town? Datan, hand the data ROM over to Michael, please. Oh, right away! Bum, ba -da -da -ba -ba -bum. Sorry about that, I just couldn't resist. ONBS is known as a TV network, but they are much more than that. You might have seen them on TVs, actually, already. They were instrumental in breaking Cyber's conspiracy five years ago as well. Please deliver data ROM to Net at ONBS. He's the right-hand man to SEC, ONBS's leader. Those names might sound familiar to players of Coliseum. Just saying. I'm confident that he'll be able to get the contents of that data ROM. And here we go! Pyrite is past Augate, quite far, so please be careful. So... So be careful when you're traveling out that way. It's definitely a rough area. It's out in the desert as well, just like the lab that we were just at. Hopefully it won't take quite as long as that lab. Oh, that really went on a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, looks like we have a new destination. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we head out to Pyrite Town and hopefully find Net to get this data ROM deciphered. See you guys then.